Hello, future seekers and brokers. This is Monopoly Future Board on the Xbox 360, one of the unlockable boards. After say? you had My started question. filling up your stamp book with your travels around the b and and Pennsylvania Railroads, and accumulating enough stamps to unlock this board, now in did. the second episode of this multi-part series on the future board matchup with three minimum AI computer players. You we did. are cheesing out the computer's AI because they don't know how to bid in auctions. Mm, but again, this isn't actually a future board. This is a technology board. Well, it's Sir, called future board. It's so called there. the future board, but it's lying at you. It's the technology board. Are you going to argue with Mr. Monopoly? I will argue with Mr. Monopoly. Mostly because he's, you know, uh, he uh, he is the uh, upper 0-1% um, of uh, successful board games and doesn't deserve to be there. Oh, this is thrilling stuff. Free parking does what it says on the board. Gotta In this case, free parking pay. does nothing. Yeah, because uh -huh. I, haven't, I haven't turned on the uh, free parking house rules. Uh, what what are the different variations of the free parking house rule uh, for this uh, for this title? Well, as I had explained in an earlier part, Let's you can make happens. you can make park twice give nothing, which is what it's I doing right now. It's just a safe place to land on. It has no effect on the game. You, you can did. give it a fixed cash payout. You could have it pay uh, 100, 200, 500 dollars, or you could set it to the uh, all caps taxes settings so that. Whenever the board collects money from players in the form of tax, whether they land on the income tax or the luxury tax, um, those monies go to a pool. And as the pool accumulates funds, all of those funds will go to the first player who lands on free parking. And then it, it empties the pool, and then it starts all over again. And the taxes was the house was the house rule that we had uh, growing up. Right, taxes. But to keep in mind that Xbox 360 Monopoly, which we're playing right now, makes a clear distinction between monies collected by tax and monies collected by community chests and chance cards. Monies collected by the latter portion do not go to the free parking pool. Mm. Whereas uh, house rules, I'm sure. A oh, lot of people you almost said, got you almost got double doubles. Hmm. Yes. Wouldn't want to get triple doubles though. Transport they costs. might think that I'm obviously up to something. Nah. Triple doubles. Uh, triple doubles has got what? It's it's a thirty percent chance for uh, it's a thirty percent chance for doubles on a normal dice roll. So three percent. It's, it's definitely more possible. More it's just, just you know, enjoy. not something that not something that happens often enough. Um. That word becomes blasé. Right. It it does matter that they. Oh, it definitely matters that we have we have a uh, we have a penalty for players who roll three doubles in a row. I mean, it strikes me that the chance the chance of that happening is about. Um, it's like point three percent. It's it's a it's a small probability, but it happens often enough where it may make you, you question, like, it, are these dice rigged? They might be in the computer setting. Oh, okay. So he wants me to give you were going to go for the, deal, the transportation property, but I'm gonna stonewall him because that is usually the correct answer when the computer player offers a deal. Fuck him. You've landed on go. Um, so you're attempting to look into the accounts? Accounts management. It's as soon as Mr. Monopoly has finished all of his little animations and sound bites, it zooms in on him and then goes to the outer board. Alright, so you give me these two. Trade properties for properties. It's usually the way to deal with the low difficulty AI is they will so, see apples and apples in most cases. Yeah, but you don't actually have all that many uh, all that many uh, properties that you'd want to that you'd want to th uh, throw away right now. Hmm. Well, like, okay, I got all right. Well, here's a here's a relatively safe uh, bid. You're throwing away a, a property and a utility, but you're attempting to gain a ut. No, you're th getting uh, two uh, transport. Okay. Yep, I'm trying to build up my transport monopoly. 
And I'm also going to say, yeah, I want, I want a little cash. Out. Nothing like a good it never hurts to ask. The worst thing that'll happen is that he'll reject the deal and no monies will change hands. I have completed my transportation monopoly while I gave him diddly squat in two unrelated properties. All right, Watt, what you got going on this turn? Seven. <laughs> eh, eh, you rolled a seven. Well, of course he rolled a seven. Stupid. Again, seven's got like a... Not, oh, and then he's do, transported directly to jail. Do not pass go. <clears throat> do not collect $200. Nah, no, do not steal the magazine subscriptions on your way out. <laughs> Mr. Monopoly would have a pile of magazines you around somewhere. With the dice. Time to take a chance. Ah, the death card. Yeah, we're gonna be we 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 won't see the death card shut down any runs, of course, because this is this is a series of a uh, human success, which honestly was in the minority of outcomes that I had enjoyed while doing this Monopoly playthrough. I lost most of the time, even when the difficulty on the AI was all set to minimum. Huh. They actually do have Electric Avenue here, but I, I wager that you're never actually going to land on it, are you? The Oxygen Generator. No, you, you said technology. You insist that this is a technology board, but uh -huh. where, where the where the hell have you seen a hover car? Mm, well, it's the hover car is still futuristic technology. As a point of fact, the majority of the properties are specifically uh, refer are specifically referenced to various computer turns. I mean, mm, I point is yes. obviously a dig at uh, Apple products, but Pico Place. <laughs> Uh, P uh, Pico specifically is is um, as a mathematic as a mathematical technology turn. Nano tower, nano machines. Yeah. New bid. The nanobytes. Tiny robots that individually are not very effective, but in great numbers they can wreak catastrophic damage upon social infrastructures. They can also be the setting of one of the or one of the better uh, Disney Pixar movies in Big Hero Six. <laughs> no other seven. I, I, I tell you, one thing that I noticed about uh, playing Monopoly on the Xbox 360 for hours and hours on end is uh, you don't have the option to turn off Mr. Monopoly's voice. Which I think was a big missed opportunity. I mean, yeah, you'll have to see his lips move. But you're going to be hearing the same shit all throughout the game because a lot of times he doesn't even have a, he doesn't even have an alternate dialogue option. Mm, all right, saucer lands on eight, which puts him where? So, chance. Chance could go one way or the other. Advance, Advance to, to the, the big shit fields. Time to away. He's got a race you there. No, oh, but Jet already owns the midfield, so. You've landed on a monopoly. Oh, you've wrecked up quite a bill there, Sonny. What do you say? Buy or mm. auction, 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 auction. I am excited. Okay, so you're gonna get terabyte pairs for 140, right? There's a 100% chance this will work as long as I don't fuck up the timing of my button presses, because you can't make two bids in a row. I hear a new bid. And uh, I, I have gotten sniped on these oh, auctions nice. a couple times because these computer players will just chime in at random times as long as they have an opportunity. So sometimes I think I'll hit the sweet spot and then realize, nope, somebody bid ahead of me, so that means I have to pay full price for the property. Hmm. No, I don't think Maybe anyone actually has a uh, Rockstar Row. I wonder what's going to happen here. I wonder what's going to happen here, too. I mean, I don't have any house-building monopolies just yet. Uh, but I do want what what ha well, I do want what Watt has. Oh, I want to finish my oranges monopoly. Very okay. wise. Very I mean, wise. that is part of Death Row, so... Oh, it's a deadlock. Nobody can resist the dark blue Park Place uh, counterpart. <laughs> ah, you took it. Idiot. I noticed that when you go for cash, you don't actually go for uh, enough to actually switch um, uh, switch your uh, cash placement 
uh, in comparison to your opponents that you're trading with. What you mean, like try to get the, try to make it so that I have more cash than the person with whom I'm training? Yeah. Well, it's not a question of who has more cash, because eventually every other player on the board is going to have zero dollars in their account, all forfeited to the player who put him in bankruptcy. The idea here is, uh, Saint, whatever the origins called. I mean, the, the, they'll always be Saint James, New York, and Tennessee to me. So. So if St. James pay Place went for 180 bucks, it's and I requested a cash value of $150, that's $330 of cash against the $350 that I paid for Park Place counterpart. It's it's uh, it's it's pretty black and white as far as the computer is concerned. The values are relatively simple. I'm trading for the same number of properties. The, the key the key metric, as I've said before, is is the number of properties. If you as long as the number of properties changing hands are equal, you will usually get the deal through. It's just I wanted to squeeze a little cash out of him. And you know what? It worked. Mm. So, w how do we actually gun sniper, uh, gun saucer out of the game at this point? Well, Saucer is a little distant away from the most penalizing properties, although- Oh shit, he just completed a Greens Monopoly. Sons of bitches. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's not good. That's not good. You have to pay $150 in rent if you land on North Carolina Avenue now. And still no one owns Electric Avenue. Do, do. Do the electric avenue. Ah, then we'll take it higher. Well, we're gonna purchase us electric avenue, and then we'll trade it for Park Place. <laughs> Einstein's MC Square. My boy Einstein at the mic! You've landed on another player's property. You've landed on another player's property. I hope you've been paying attention, because here it comes. Here comes my deck in the form of a bell. You pass go. Time to collect your salary. Time to <laughs> Oh, you get double go in one chest. turn. Blah. Yeah, and now we gotta watch the bo the stupid car go all the way around the board when all he had to do is just I, I don't know, like make a little ring a around the board or something. It's it's totally unnecessary. They they could have saved they could have saved so much time <laughs> with their choices of what to show and what not to show. It's your property. Although I do like that the 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 pieces actually tap the board for every space that they rolled on the dice. When it's a dice roll. When it's a card that says, yeah, go to the other side of the board, don't make me fucking watch. <laughs> yeah, but Saucer doesn't have any property, so that doesn't, so that doesn't do anything to him. Hmm, yes. And now you're stuck in jail. Yep, back to jail with you. Good luck, get- oh, right, no, that's me. Damn it. I was gonna be indifferent and say, well, it sucks to be him, but I don't want it to Hold suck it, to if you me. get sent to jail on a doubles roll, you don't get your doubles roll? That's correct, yeah. You it shuts down your turn. You do huh. have a chance to manage your properties though. Just hey, how you doing there? Damn it, Watt. Go and land on our greens. Stop laughing at me, Watt. Ha <laughs> ha, you landed on transportation property. Two hundred dollars, please. Now, um... A question that Monopoly players run into frequently is... How important is it that you control the transportation monopolies? And honestly, you could go either way. Your chance, your chances of winning the game. It, it's, it, in other words, it's not, it's not really a win condition. Make your choice. You already own you Terabyte Terrace. Yeah, money. but I did get out of jail without What's having to pay to a fee first. It's your property. Just enjoy. I'm thinking, let's set a trap for what? Put some properties on, uh, I, let's see, Tennessee? I think, I think Tennessee, yes, Fantastic. yep, Tennessee. Houses. Or just buy a whole set. They're, they're cheap, they're cheap enough. Okay, so if he rolls a 9, an 8, or a 6, <laughs> he's gotta pay the piper. 
big time because he owns properties now. Well, he does. He did land on a nine, so. Yep. So that means he's probably going to sell some houses. Landing on a property and poof, the houses are gone. Thank you very much there. And in the next part, we are going to make them sell even more properties.